The moon is the closest major destination to Earth, so it's no surprise it's one of the most popular targets for space exploration missions. NASA and numerous other countries have attempted to send missions to the moon, and even a few humans have made the journey. The first generation of robotic moon explorers helped prepare for the Apollo moon landings, which sent a few American male astronauts to the surface between 1969 and 1972. Now NASA is leading a new consortium of international space agencies and companies for a new round of landings under the Artemis program. Meanwhile, numerous landers, rovers, and other robotic explorers have sent back information about the moon. January 19th, the SLIM probe made a successful landing on the moon, but its solar panels aren't producing power as intended. At least for a few hours, Japan is on the moon. Japan achieved a great triumph this morning, John 19, when its robotic slim spacecraft made a soft landing on the moon, becoming only the fifth country to do so. First and foremost, landing was successful. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, head Yamakawa Hiroshi stated today at a news conference following the landing, in the future, we should be able to access the lunar surface, Hiroshi said. I believe that there is a path opening to that now. The other nations that have made moon landings are China, which made its first landing in December 2013, India, whose Chandrayaan-3 lander rover pair landed in August, and the Soviet Union and the United States, which made their first landings during the Cold War space race. Not all of the news for SLIM was positive, though. At today's briefing, JAXA officials reported that the probe's solar panels aren't producing power as intended on the lunar surface. If this issue isn't resolved quickly, SLIM may never speak again. Its lunar activities can only be sustained for a few hours by its battery. Together with the x rissum Satellite Telescope, SLIM, short for Smart Lander for Investigating Moon, launched in September of last year. Shortly after takeoff, the scope deployed into low Earth orbit and just transmitted home its first test photographs. But SLIM headed for farther off cosmic lands. After traveling a lengthy and winding path toward the moon, the probe ultimately entered lunar orbit on Christmas Day. At its closest point, SLIM was 373 miles 600 kilometers from the lunar surface, while at its farthest point, it was 2,185 miles 4, km away. Its original orbit was very elliptical. In order to prepare for descent and landing operations, SLIM executed a critical engine run early on Sunday, January 14th, circularizing its orbit at 373 miles above ground. With another burn this morning, those procedures stepped up, lowering SLIM's orbit to around 9 miles, 15 kilometers above the lunar surface. The landing attempt was the final one, starting at around 10 a.m. EST, 1500 GMT, midnight on January 20th Japan time, and ending 20 minutes later. Everything seemed to go according to plan. SLIM reached all of its landing milestones while descending, and it kept in contact with its handlers throughout and after its historic touchdown. But after landing, JAXA was unable to establish SLIM's situation right away. An hour or so later, the agency updated us via the press conference, outlining the power issues with the inquiry. JAXA officials stated that they were unsure of the cause of the solar cell's failure. However, given that SLIM's other hardware seems to be in good condition and is operational, it seems doubtful that they were harmed during the touchdown. JAXA speculates that the lander may not be pointed in the direction of the sun as predicted. The Proby's moon sniper moniker came from its goal of landing 330 feet, 100 meters, from its target location on the lip of Shioli Crater. The Planetary Society stated in a mission summary that, this mission's landing ambitions are important to the future of scientific lunar exploration, while impressive in and of themselves. Global interest in the moon is growing, with many nations and commercial entities entering the field, added the nonprofit advocacy group which is led by former TV science guy Bill Nye. As lunar exploration advances, so will the need to target specific sites to address salient science questions. SLIM's mission architecture hopes to shift the standards of lunar landing missions, from touching down where it's easy to setting down exactly where desired. It appears that SLIM achieved the desired landing precision, JAXA officials said during the press conference, 
though it could take about a month for the Mission team to confirm that conclusion. Slim also sought to demonstrate that modestly priced spacecraft are capable of remarkable exploration achievements. The Planetary Society claims that the probe's mission cost around 18 billion yen, $120 million US, to create, despite the probe weighing just 440 pounds, 200 kilograms, without fuel. Slim was intended to do some science during its surface mission, which was scheduled to last one lunar day, or around two Earth weeks even if its primary purpose is to demonstrate landing technologies. Slim's electronics are not shielded from the chilly lunar night by heaters. Slim's mission was to use its onboard spectrometer to analyze its surroundings, a portion of Mare Nectaris, Sea of Nectar, located around 15 degrees south of the lunar equator. The data from the instrument may provide information on the composition of the region and consequently the genesis and development of the moon, but it will not be able to do so until Slim's solar panels are operational. Additionally, two miniature rovers were carried by Slim, LEV-1, a little hopper, and LEV-2, a ball-shaped probe. The acronym LEV stands for Lunar Excursion Vehicle. These little robots were made to launch from the Slim mothership collect some personal data and take pictures. According to the data, LEV-1 and LEV-2 deployed according to schedule, JAXA officials said today. Moreover, LEV-1's known functionality adds to the mission's accomplishments. Not all Japanese spacecraft attempted a lunar landing, including SLIM. The country sent a small lander named Omotenashi on NASA's Artemis-1 mission, which in late 2022 carried an unmanned Orion capsule into lunar orbit and returned. However, Omotenashi's operators were unable to get in contact with the probe, therefore the landing attempt was cancelled. In April 2023, the private Hakuto-R lander made an attempt, but it failed. The Tokyo-based corporation Ispace constructed and flew the Hakuto-R, which reached lunar orbit before crashing on landing due to confusion caused by a lunar crater lip. A picture of Japan's slim moon lander taken on the lunar surface. The historic image was captured by Slim's traveling buddy, the small Lev-2 rover. Japan now has a fantastic new image to add to their scrapbook of space travel. On January 19th, Japan's Slim spacecraft made a soft lunar landing, becoming it only the fifth country in history to accomplish it. And Slim is seen sitting on the gray dirt in a recent picture, which serves as visible proof of that accomplishment. The image was captured by a ball-shaped robot known as LEV-2, Lunar Exploration Vehicle 2, also known as Sora-Q. It was one of two small rovers that traveled to the moon aboard SLIM. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, published the image on Wednesday night, January 24. With this, Sora-Q became the first Japanese robot to land on the moon and take pictures, Kintaro Toyama chairman and representative director of the Japanese toy company, Takaratomi, which developed Levy 2 with JAXA, Sony, and Doshisha University, said in a statement, This success is thanks to everyone involved and everyone who supported us as we pursued our dreams together, Toyama added. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. JAXA said that Slim remains alive, though silent, on the lunar surface, and its handlers are preparing for a possible recovery of the lander. During a news conference conducted in Japanese on Wednesday night, January 25, the agency gave another update. The meeting took place at U.S. West Coast time, which is Thursday afternoon. Moon mission engineer Do Woon Jung of the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, who live tweeted the press briefing on Wednesday night, said that the mission team is still hopeful for a slim return, at least until February 1st, when the sun sets at the probe's landing location. But because to Slim and its two little traveling companions, Japan can now claim lunar surface credentials, regardless of what happens in the future.